dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, we're making some steaks. Not the kind of steaks that you stick into a vampire's heart, but the kind you eat. I'm doing a coffee rubbed ribeye with jalapeno butter. This is a fantastic and fancy recipe, even though it's not really very complicated. So let's get started. You're going to love it. make is the jalapeno butter. This is kind of a good rule of thumb whenever you're making anything that requires a sauce or anything like that. Is just go ahead and make the sauce first and get that out of the way. So I've got in a molcajete here a jalapeno that I diced up and a crushed clove of garlic. I'm just going to sort of grind this together. If you don't have a molcajete or you don't have any arm muscles like me, then you can use a food processor or you can just mince everything up together and, and blend it with a spoon. Once you get it kind of started broken up, add it some coarse salt and that helps get everything broken up finer. But I like this to have kind of a rustic texture, so don't go crazy getting it smooth. Okay, that looks pretty good. And add some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, please leave it out. And some soft butter. Good. So I use unsalted butter always uh, in cooking. So if you use salted butter, then you probably don't need to add as much salt at the beginning. But give it a taste anyway and make sure it's nice and salty. You want it well seasoned. So we can just scoop this into my tiny fake mulca a day that I'll use to serve it in. And we can get started on the steak. So I'm using a ribeye. There's two schools of thought when you are cooking steak. One is season it well ahead of time to let the salt and everything really permeate all the way through to the meat. And the other is season it right before you cook it. Um, I like the second method unless I happen to think ahead several hours, which I never do. This way the salt doesn't have any time to like draw out the, the liquid and it just makes a nice seasony crust on it. So what I'm rubbing this with is some ancho chili powder, salt, pepper, and some black coffee, ground coffee. A lot of recipes that use coffee as like a rub will tell you to use instant espresso or something. That's something that I never, ever, ever keep on hand and then I don't want to buy it just for one thing. So. I just started using regular ground coffee and guess what, it works. So that's what I'm doing. I guess you could even use decaf. And just wanna sprinkle this all over my steak. And you could probably use like a flank steak or something. Ribeye, I think, I think ribeye is probably my favorite cut of steak. And just press it in. And I'm gonna just kind of roll it around and make sure that the sides get a little bit of seasoning on them too. To cook the steak, I am going to heat up my heavy cast iron skillet over medium high heat and let it get really, really, really hot. Put the steak in. For me, I like a medium steak. So I'm gonna cook the first side for about eight minutes and then flip it and do it for six minutes. But if you want like a medium rare, then maybe just do six minutes on the first side and flip it. You can check the temperature inside if you want to, but I always just kind of go by feel until it feels kind of firm. And also, I'm not super picky. I'll eat it medium well, I'll eat it medium rare, so I'm like the best person in the world you could possibly cook a steak for. All right, you want to let your steak rest for a couple of minutes, and then we can top it with some of our butter. Oh my God. This recipe, as all my recipes are, is available at HylaCooking.com with all the measurements and the printable instructions and everything. So check that out if you want to make this. Let's see. Oh, well, I did pretty awesome. I don't know, what am I, a steak scientist? Yes, this is such a great steak recipe. I hope that you make this. Make it this weekend. Take a picture, tag me on Instagram, Twitter, hashtag Kylie Cooking. I love to see what you make. You're going to love this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,